Hi, I'm Jessie. I live full-time in my 1978 Dodge Commander. When I first got on the road, everybody told me I had to get a newer bike because my rig was so old and unreliable. And so I got a 2015 Kimco Super 8. This bike is so much more fun than my old scooter. The scooter was more reliable, but it wasn't capable to do the dirt roads that I normally drive on and all the back road exploring that I do. I was just destroying it, so I decided to get the Dual Sport, which although it's older and less reliable, it's way more fun to drive. This is my kitty, Moonchie. I used to have two cats, but my older cat passed away over the winter, and now she's just a solo adventure cat. She loves this lifestyle. She likes exploring all the new places. Recently, I did a bunch of upgrades, both cosmetically, uh, just the interior stuff, and then I did a lot of mechanical things that were long overdue repairs that all make the driving experience of Mander so much more enjoyable. I'm not leaking as much oil, so I don't have to breathe burning oil. And a major improvement that I made is I did a two inch lift on the back, so I no longer bottom out all the time. I was always, like the butt was always hitting and then scraping on any sort of road that had either lumps or had any sort of angles and it was really cringy. And so having that lift has made it driving my rig so much smoother. The oil repair involved me taking off the valve covers and the intake manifold. And while I had them off, I just scrubbed them all down and painted them a beautiful gold. So now my rig has a heart of gold. So I did some cosmetic updates on my little kitchenette. I put contact paper on the counter and painted a darker paint on the lower cabinetry. And these baskets used to be a yellow orange. I got rid of them and did a brown and tan. And then I had turquoise triangles and a gray triangle painted on both of these walls. So I painted those over white and I made this little hanger for my poster. Got a new ottoman, new rug. Just little things you after you've lived in a small space for almost three years kind of need to revamp it and give it a new fresh look. And then coming this way, I have a decent size fridge and freezer. Uh, this is the bathroom I did some decent modification on. Originally, the shower area had the toilet and the shower inside. I just got rid of the toilet, made it into a full shower stall. And then I built all of this on as an extension. Uh, this is over the wheel well. So I was able to put my composting toilet here and then created more storage space. This is my bedroom. It's definitely the best room in the whole house. I got a queen size bed back here and surrounded by windows. So it feels like a sun porch. And I just, yeah, it's super comfy chill spot. And recently I updated the walls with some daisy wallpaper and I got some nice macrame and pretty hanging things there but yeah this is this is pretty luxurious living for a camper what have I learned about myself I have learned the depth of my resilience I would say just knowing that I am capable and that I can handle whatever comes my way even when I don't feel like it. Um, I have so far, it's been almost three years and I'm still rolling, so <laughs> just building the confidence and the uh, self-reliance of, and the, just the grit and the tenacity that it takes to live full time on the road and do your own mechanics. What advice would you give to someone wanting to live this lifestyle but they're scared? Mm, I would say don't let fear dictate your life. Um, fear is just a feeling like any other feeling. It will pass. It will not kill you. It's just really important that people keep that fear in check, like acknowledge it, know that you have it, but know that you also have the ability to 
push past it. And there's so much amazing things on the other side of fear. And fear is actually a really good dictator of growth and and knowing that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and that's where a lot of life happens is when you push yourself out of your comfort zone. It's worth it, 100% worth it. Oh, the money question. <laughs> people always are concerned about the money question, rightfully so. People have bills to pay, we all have bills to pay. Uh, and But living this lifestyle can be really, really cheap if you want it to be. I don't drive a lot. Uh, so I keep my gas down um, and keep that element affordable. Um, bye, Moonchi. But I do a lot of different things for money. I, I guess, would consider myself an entrepreneur. I wrote an e-guide on how to live full-time on the road that um, answers so many of the commonly asked questions and also just has a lot of information that I've learned since living on the road and information that I've gathered from talking to people. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions um, over the phone for people that are either looking to get into this lifestyle or are in this lifestyle and are really struggling. Um, so I can just offer support that way. And um, I take odd jobs here and there. I've waitressed, um, in like a small little ghost town for a couple weeks. I've bought and sold vintage clothes. I've just done a variety of things to make ends meet. And I always just say that where there's a will, there's a way you can, you can figure it out. And as long as you are frugal, this lifestyle can be really affordable. I do not see an end in sight as far as how long I want to be on the road. I'm really enjoying it. I can't believe it's Coming up on three years, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. It probably took a year to even just hit my groove and uh, there's still so many more beautiful places to see and I, I haven't tired of it and I don't imagine that I'm going to quit anytime soon. If you'd like to see more of what I get up to on the road, you can follow me on A Girl and Her Commander on Instagram and agirlandhercommander.com.